In just a matter of days, the U.S. will likely embark on the largest mass vaccination campaign ever. Hundreds of millions of people will need shots. Government at all levels, federal, state, local, will need to be in sync. Public and private sectors, too. So the challenges are enormous. For one, keeping the Pfizer vaccine cold enough during transit and making sure it arrives where it needs to go on time. So how will all of that happen? Here's CNBC's Frank Holland. Packing 50 pounds of dry ice into containers by hand is how Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine will be kept cold for as long as 10 days as it travels in these specialized containers. Boxes with 1,000 doses will leave Pfizer's Kalamazoo, Michigan facility packed with 50 pounds of dry ice in FedEx, UPS, and DHL trucks. Depending on the destination, containers will be delivered by truck or taken to air hubs, sorted and loaded onto planes. FedEx and UPS say deliveries will happen within 24 hours in the U.S. DHL is handling international deliveries that can take as long as three days. Its president of life sciences and healthcare calls this the biggest global logistics effort since World War II. The biggest challenge of the whole thing is really around that final mile. Realistically, there, there will be some product that gets lost or, or potentially doesn't arrive in the right temperature. So good today. Yeah. At first, Pfizer's vaccine will be taken directly to hospitals, later to state facilities or pharmacy distribution centers, then to health clinics or drug stores where vaccines will be given. UPS is producing 1,200 pounds of dry ice per hour to supply the U.S. vaccine effort known as Operation Warp Speed. FedEx has ultra-cold freezers all around the country should doses be delayed for unforeseen reasons. The containers will also have sensors inside to monitor temperature and location as they are shipped and then rush back to the Pfizer facility. It could become a challenge at the height of, the, uh, the, the, the height of an issue if we can't recycle and get the packaging back uh, quick enough to be able to continue to replenish the, uh, the, the manufacturing capacity that Pfizer is able to generate. For every box of vaccine, there are dozens of boxes of supporting materials shipped separately that must arrive in time to give the life-saving medicine. We anticipate every pallet of vaccines will require about 25 to 30 pallets of uh, accessories to go with that. It encompasses syringes and, and swabs and, and all the other uh, accoutrements that go into a vaccination program. Vaccine delivery will be complex and fast-paced, but still profitable. City estimates here in the U.S. it will generate $300 million in revenue for carriers. Shep? Frank, great report. A lot ahead. Wow. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.